です。
Dear friends, today as we gather here to, to celebrate the Holy Eucharist and to assist in it, we pray especially for our own intentions, those who have asked our prayers, and for the many souls in purgatory to be released to heaven, and all other intentions said or unsaid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. From Paul, appointed by God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus, to the saints who are faithful to Christ Jesus, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven in Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ, to be holy and spotless and to live through love in his presence. Determining that we should become his adopted sons through Jesus Christ, for his own kind purposes to make us praise the glory of His grace, His free gift to us in the Beloved, in whom, through His blood, we gain freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. Such is the richness of the grace which He has showered on us in all wisdom and insight. He has let us know the mystery of His purpose, the hidden plan so he, kind, he so kindly made in Christ from the beginning to act upon when the times had run their course to the end, that he would bring everything together under Christ as head, everything in the heavens and everything on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has shown his salvation. The Lord has shown his salvation. Sing a new song to the Lord. 
for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The The Lord has shown his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. The Lord has shown his salvation. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord has shown his salvation. precepts, O Lord, are all of them sure. They stand firm forever and ever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with your your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Alas for you who build the tombs of the prophets, the men your ancestors killed. In this way, you both witness what your ancestors did and approve it. They did the killing, you do the building. And that is why the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles. Some they will slaughter and persecute, so that this generation will have to answer for every prophet's blood that has been shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was murdered between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, this generation will have to answer for it all. Alas for you, lawyers, who have taken away the key of knowledge. You have not gone in yourselves and have prevented others going in who wanted to. When he left the house, the scribes and the Pharisees began a furious attack on him and trying to force answers from him on innumerable questions, setting traps to catch him out in something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, The Gospel's reading is a continuation of yesterday's. And it tells us a lot of things. Why? It's because Jesus wants to educate the people, especially the hierarchy, the scribes and the Pharisees, who cling on to the tradition so strongly. And yet, they believe that the letter of the law will save them. But Jesus came to put in the spirit of the law in, in it. Why? It is because it is the Spirit that gives life. And today, when we hear that in the first part, Jesus says, "Eh, you kill, you build the tombs eh, of your ancestors who killed the prophets. Why? It is because to show that they honor the prophets, eh, to build the tomb for the prophets. But then Jesus went more deeply into why the killing? Because God has sent his prophets, the judges and all that and they refuse to believe because each time when they sin they love their sins and they do not want to return to God because they have, they have given the law through Moses 
on Mount Sinai and they have to follow that strictly. And when Moses elaborated the law, what has happened? Uh, they make it more laws in it. And when they make it more laws in it, they follow those laws instead of the Ten Commandments, the actual law which they have to follow uh, true and true. And when Jesus came to break all those tra traditions that do not live in the spirit of the Ten Commandments, then only they, they find they are themselves challenged. And Jesus wants to break that, that kind of thinking. And because of that, they refuse to, to accept the main law which God has given to them. And that is why they kill the prophets, the judges, and all that. And in the second part, uh, it is because of wisdom that proves that God is right. Uh, God is always right. He says that, yes, this generation will have to account for all those leaders who have killed the prophets. And why it is because they refuse to believe again and again. And the lawyers too. Uh, I'm not picking up any lawyers here. Huh? Okay? They say, why? It is because you are the one who put heavy burdens on people's back, uh, on the yoke of the shoulders of others, and yet you do not leave a finger to help them. Yes, it's very easy. Sometimes uh, they say that you know, it's easy to gather Christians into the church. Uh, to get them baptized. But the follow-up, the mystagogical time, which they are supposed, the whole church is supposed to journey with them. Where is the follow-up? It's easy to bring sometimes huh? Christians, uh, non-believers into our Catholic church. But because of that, uh, are we ready to journey with them? It's easy to bring them in. But is it easy to follow up with them. It's difficult. Many a times the new neophytes goes back to their old religion. Why? It is because we do not take care of them. We want people to enter into our church, but do, do we follow up? That's the main reason why many of them fall back to their old religion or follow other evangelical Christians. The reason is have they in the first place love the Eucharist uh, I've been taught to love the Eucharist. All of us should be taught, first of all, to love the Eucharist is because Christ died for us, for our sins. And that is the reason why, time and again, we come to receive Him in the Holy Communion. And each time when we receive Him, it has to be reverently, our hearts made pure because of the grace that God has showered upon us. God bless you all. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, <coughs> Blessed are you Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, and through these acts of devotedness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. And Amen. so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and profess your, your resurrection. resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy, laity, and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
Yet with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, <coughs> and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
woman, the rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel together. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.